Alright, another video. Watch me carefully as I get into my Watch me carefully as I get into my yogic stance. My meditative stance. Um so the first thing I do is kind of like put a put a blanket under me. Make sure I'm extra comfortable. Just crisscross applesauce. And then adjust my shirt so that it's comfortable and it's not um, it's not being tucked into my pants. And then just kind of put the butt back a little bit, push the butt a little far back, and then kind of lean forward like this. I tend I tend not to straighten my back and do this because it doesn't feel comfortable. It's probably my my overweight stomach. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video today about the Grand Rising app. Um, feeling pretty sick today. And it's probably because I drank a lot last night. And uh, I also had a very weird, I've, had, I've been having a weird experience uh, in the mornings when I wake up, like as I'm waking up, I start to get images and these these sensations in my body where I feel like super uncomfortable on my bed. Um, and like I try to, I kind of toss and turn a little bit as I'm waking up, um, as the sun is coming up, like I toss and turn and I grab my pillow and I stick it behind my head and then like, you know, I, I, I shove the pillow off the bed and then like, um, I'm getting these images and I hear the voice in my head. I hear not not a voice. I hear my voice in, in, in my head kind of talking about different things that like Don't really make sense to me and it's just as I'm waking up, you know, it's as I'm beginning the day but um, I Eventually have to like kind of snap myself out of it get out of bed but uh, what's been really been interesting is uh, for two actually two nights in a row I had a dream where I had two I had two separate dreams on two different nights, but they're both it was um it was Friday night and Saturday night. This past Friday and Saturday night. I had two dreams about William Knight, the guy who founded the Grand Rising app. The guy who says breathe in, hold it. A wise man once said and like does a quote and then breathe out. You know, the guy who does all that. I had two dreams about him, and there was like in both of the dreams, it was actually the exact same scenario. It was that I had ended up somehow ended up at a festival that was totally William Knight themed. So there was sculptures, there was painted portraits, there were games like arcade games, and there was like you know, there were certain like foods and stuff that apparently he had recommended or that he really likes, like his personal favorite food, which I don't really remember what it was. It could have been just something like hamburgers with extra pickles or something like, I don't really know. But um, it was a William Knight Grand Rising app themed uh, festival. And in both of my dreams, it was just funny, it was like, I ended up dreaming about the exact same festival about William Knight. And um, I don't really know what to make of that, but it is possibly because I had been trying to make a video that was related to the Grand Rising app. I was thinking of buying the app and doing like a review of it and comparing it to other meditation apps. Um, I was also thinking about possibly making a video about the potential, um, the potentially negative energy that can be sent from one individual to another, even when someone is putting on a good front, putting on a good face. I was just thinking that, you know, seemingly harmless quotes and um, the breathe in, the breathe out, and the memes about it and whatnot. Possibly, like, these are all just harmless things. But, you know, there's always the potential that someone 
is not going to interpret that in, all that information in the right way. They're going to look at several different videos recorded at different times and they're not going to interpret them all correctly and it could lead to you know it could lead to a manifested symptom in their body um so i was having trouble i was you know usually when i'm either when i'm driving or when i'm t like laying down like just relaxing watching a movie listening to music or spending time out of my yard in nature um i typically will remember to consciously breathe you know i will uh just be thinking about something or imagining something or fantasizing about something but then i'll always come back to my chest i'll come back to my lungs and i'll just remember to to get take a deep breath or just to take a conscious breath and to breathe out and to do that four or five times until i really feel my breath i really feel it in my chest feel it my brain I feel my brain less brain fog and whatnot even though there's not a whole lot of fog up here I don't think but um yeah just to and to remember what breathing is what is breathing well breathing is we are taking in the, the oxygen from the atmosphere so in my opinion a piece of you know a piece of the very sky that we look up at every day a piece of the very sky there's there's a piece of the sky that exists in all living beings that breathe you know there's a piece of that blue sky which is you know a connected to our soul it's connected to our mind it's connected to our hearts um, it's connected to us and whenever I remind myself of that it kind of makes me feel at peace it makes me feel more calm um, and then there's also this relationship between trees and humans um, in the fact that like what we breathe out, they breathe in and what we breathe in, they breathe out, you know, the oxygen and the carbon dioxide, uh, you know, recycle, cycle. And, um, you know, I I've always had a fascination with certain trees, mainly redwoods. You know, I love redwood forests when I live back in California. So, but I was thinking of several different ways in which I could approach William Knight's Grand Rising page or app or his presence on YouTube. Um, because I started not having problems breathing like asthma because I very much could have a very mild form of asthma that I'm not aware of. But um, it was more like I just started like not remembering to consciously breathe. And it could be because I'm not interpreting. It could be that it could be that I'm not interpreting my own body's signals correctly. You know, I could be overwhelmed. I could be anxious. I could be paranoid about something and that's preventing me from relaxing as I like to do. Um, you know, I think it has something to do with my YouTube channel, you know, as I put out more videos and as more of my thoughts and emotions and as more of my time is spent, you know, uploading stuff to YouTube and commenting on people's channels and getting feedback, like there is a, there is a small underlying feeling of paranoia that kind of accompanies all this online um, interaction with people. And I think that's actually like that's actually created like a almost like an energetic block for me and I feel like I just need to take the time to undo that energetic block um, I've been taking cold showers I've been going to the sauna um, I've been working out I've been doing like lifting like weights in the gym and I've been going on walks with my dogs and I've just been doing anything in my control to get back that sense of peace that I get when I, you know, am consciously breathing and uh, remembering my connection with the sky and the redwood trees and all that. So anyways, I just want to say that I appreciate the Grand Rising app and I appreciate William Knight for being such a positive person. And I really like, I find them really funny, uh, inspiring, and 
also a very handsome person. I don't think anybody remarks on how handsome he is. He's a very handsome person. You know, very good looking person. So anyways, uh, that's my video. I'm gonna end the video with just, um, you know, five, 10 seconds of conscious breathing. So everybody who's watching, breathe in. And breathe out. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna end the video here. Peace out.